Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Halfway Ever After Center and I am back with another gardening project. So today we are out here in the new garden bed. You might have seen we plant this. Oop! I'm trying to be very careful because there's lots of little baby plants. But you might have seen me plant this beautiful wisteria plant when I did my new garden bed. It is a um, pretty pretty large, beautiful plant already I got from the nursery. Um, it is a hybrid wisteria, which means it gets these beautiful clusters of flowers, but not necessarily the long grape ones. It's less invasive and easier um, on your landscape and it's not going to go hog wild, but it still grows and is beautiful and will climb what you want. And I want it to climb this tree. So like I showed you in the new garden bed video, this tree will not be here forever. So even if it was invasive, I'm not too worried about it. Um, I just want to be able to enjoy it while I'm here for the next four or five years. Um, I did plant a smaller wisteria stick around the corner and that one's gonna take a lot longer to grow up. So when I saw this plant for $30, I was like, that is five years of growth right there. I may never even see the other one grow past this stage. So for $30, I snagged it. And so when you're doing wisteria, it starts to put off these long whips. And the whips are what starts to climb and trellis. So that is what we need to actually start training up this tree. And this plant has two whips. One over here that I've already attached to the tree and I am just using, put them in my pocket. Some little nails that I bent over. We're going to put them in the tree and then we'll feed the whips up through them. So you just wanna be gentle with it. And I'm going to kind of see where it goes. I don't know if y'all can see, but right about right here where my finger is, that's where I'm going to put a nail. That's all there is to it. So I just tapped it in. You can see that it is holding this whip. I'll give you guys a closer view um, to the tree. I'm going to put a second whip a little further over to hold the end. Second whip, a second nail. That one fit right in a crevice. I don't even have to nail it in. Which is perfect. We want to be very gentle with these whips as they do have buds on them. All right, and that's it. You can see right over here. You can hardly even see it. That's my wisteria stick. Here's my beautiful plant. Right over here, I have trained this whip up. And there's a nail right there and then on this side we see the two nails so we are just going to train this towards the tree it will start to grip the tree and to climb up as it gets bigger maybe not this spring but as it goes into summer and it starts growing and then next winter and hopefully by next spring it will have really started to go up the tree and be very happy little plant. All right, so it is done. There was only two whips, so it was a very easy project. I was hoping for more, but you can see there's another whip growing on this side. 
You can see another one on the other side. So we will have more whips to start training sooner rather than later. Um, and you just wanna come out every couple weeks and check. And if you need more um, nails to keep training it up the tree, just keep putting more nails in. Um, this is not the only method of doing this, um, but it is probably the easiest, most cost effective way of doing this since most people have little nails of some kind. These aren't anything fancy. They're just some nails I went and grabbed out of my toolbox. Um, you don't want to put giant nails in your tree because you can damage your tree growth. Um, and while this tree will come down eventually, we don't want to damage it to the point where it falls. And if you are using a tree that you want to keep, you definitely don't want to damage your tree to the point where it dies. So these little tiny nails, like I said, two of them, I didn't even have to hammer in. I just kind of found a crack in the tree where I could wedge my little nail. And you can always take them back out once the whips have started wrapping around the tree and are clinging to it. Um, the other methods are you can use some twine and go all the way around the tree and tuck those whips under the twine. Um, that works really well on arbors or trellises because you can just kind of place your whip on the trellis and twine it on. I decided I didn't want that method for the tree because depending on where the whips needed to be held down, I might have to have three, four, five pieces of twine all the way around my tree. That's a lot of twine for a couple little whips. It just wasn't the best solution for my tree um, and my situation. So my mom reminded me that this is how she's always seen it done, how she's always done it. So I figured good enough for me. If you have other ways of training a vine up a tree, I saw lots of different versions for trellises and pergolas and things. Leave those down below. I'd be interested to know what else is out there. But for now, this was a quick, easy video. I thought it would take much longer. It took five minutes or less. I've talked more than I've put nails in the tree. So I am going to go and fertilize all my rose bushes and my flowering perennials, including this wisteria, since it is a flowering perennial, and um, do some garden maintenance. So if you want to check that out, I will leave a link below to my fertilizing video. Hopefully that fertilizer will help things along. Bye y'all. Thanks for hanging out.